a very good morning children here today we are going to start a new chapter industries so here what is the meaning of industry first we have to know then we can better understand about this chapter what is given so here the term or the word industry it first that uh, create the image in our mind about the factory and mills and definitely uh, this way uh, from these factories and mills we are getting different products so frankly speaking and generally speaking the process of transformation of natural resources into finished ready to use product utilizing the full potentiality of that resources is called manufacturing and somehow this manufacturing happening in this industry manufacturing and processing so today in this video we are going to discuss about different sectors of economy and importance of industries so stay with me to know the information about this all now here students see different sectors of economy on that i have made this flow charts here mainly five sectors of the economy we can see here primary sector secondary tertiary here quaternary and quinary though in your syllabus only three this sector given primary secondary and tertiary but for your information i also have shared here about quaternary and quinary sector so that your concept will be more clear so what is primary sector primary it means are the primitive way in this sector that we directly use or uh, different that products which are available in the nature without any change suppose here we i have given the example of lumbering lumbering means collecting of that timber from the forest or any of the areas mining collecting or extracting of the minerals from the mine fishing then also catching of the fishes and different other sea creatures agriculture growing of the crop so here this work directly related and linked with the nature there is no processing work no, no finished products whatever we are getting from the nature we are using this so here this in this industry or in this sector primary sector we can see that that whatever products we are using all products are known as primary products even the vegetables milk meat all are primary products and this primary products we are getting through this activities so this activity and this work known as the primary sector okay here uh, next the one secondary in the secondary part we will get to know about the processing or that finished products like if we are collecting here minerals through mining process in the primary sector these minerals we are sending to the industry and finally after processing after you know, refining and all that we are getting the finished products like we are using tar, uh, iron and steel but the iron and steel is the finished products the main thing is that the raw material we are getting from the primary sector that is iron ore same way sugar industry here i have given example of the secondary sector where sugar cane coming from agriculture in the primary sector that coming from here and then this sugar cane using as a raw material in this industry and finally we are getting sugar same way cotton we are using in the textile industry it means that the finished products whatever we are getting that is getting from the secondary sector industries manufacturing processing number 3 that is tertiary sector so students here in the primary and secondary we have seen some goods we are getting some products we are getting but in the tertiary sector it does not provide any kind of goods but provide us services what kind of services like uh, with the through this process or through this sector through this um, economy sector we are getting some knowledge we are getting that some services kind of banking hospitalization transportation educations so here these are coming in the tertiary sector 
and always remember students that if the tertiary sector also upgraded definitely other sector will be developed because if banking is there if transportation education there definitely we will use this that uh, skill or use this facility for developing secondary and primary sector next one there which is not in your syllabus but uh, you should know that is quaternary what is quaternary i have here marked quaternary sector that is totally described about knowledge knowledge skill and here this kind of internet that it industry information technology media research and development it means um, if you are uh, talking about agriculture in the primary sector so that is primary sector growing up the crops but through that research and development we can get uh, get that hyb seed high yielding variety of seeds that seed we can use in that primary sector uh, to grow uh, more crops with more quantity and the production it will be also good so here these sectors they have basically help this other primary secondary this also tertiary these all sectors and here quinary sector this is also like that quaternary but extreme that level in which level that all the decision used to take like government uh, government that head of this country then as well as uh, different uh, industry owner and uh, education ministers whenever they are taking any of the decisions these decisions and their skills their educations finally that enriching this all sectors okay this all sectors if i am talking about here that uh, education minister um, uh, introduced or implemented a new education policy so this education policy will also enrich the quaternary tertiary sector and this sector also will enrich that secondary primary sector so here students this all sector basically somehow directly indirectly developing countries economy students in this point we will get to know about the importance of industries we have read about some uh, different sectors of economy but here why industry is necessary so first you have to know industry create job opportunities so here how is creating job opportunities you just imagine whenever a industry is setting up definitely uh, to do that work in the industries different works we need labor we need workers so here to do all that work um, work whenever we are hiring that workers laborers and other skilled person so here job opportunities also here providing this industries this helps that basically this uh, this work job opportunities helps people to earn and live with better facilities definitely whenever you are not having any job you can't enjoy all the facility but whenever you are having job you can earn so you can enjoy other facilities which are necessary in your life it improves people standard of living so whatever is the points i have said in that first point so it links with the second point also better standard of living like earlier if you are not having enough uh, income you were not able to um, that uh, enjoy different facilities and whenever you are having proper job you are having fixed income you easily can lead your life that with satisfaction uh, satisfactory level or with satisfaction and here your living standard will also improve and next number 3 some industries support other industry by providing raw materials how it's providing like uh, in the iron and steel industry to to produce or manufacture iron and steel we need iron ore from the mines that is a different thing here the iron in the iron and steel industry but this is the finished product of this iron and steel industry iron and steel is using as a raw material of the other industry like automobile industry locomotive industry shipbuilding industry this different industry they are using iron and steel 
for their manufacturing purpose next number four most of the thing we can use in daily life that we are getting from other different industry like from the morning to the night we are using whatever that we are using that we are getting from the industries suppose at the morning we are brushing our teeth so we are using toothpaste brush and then gradually you can just think about that whatever if uh, you are using that pen pencil then this paper even the foods everything some of that uh, we are getting directly from that uh, market but how these products reaching to the market after processing so processing where happening in that industries next number six he mm, uh, number five industries produce goods and services goods and services how using different resources of raw material raw material whatever raw material means which are using in the industries and then we are getting finished products so here whenever this raw material using in the industries these uh, industries are fully utilizing the um, can, uh, that potentiality or that resources so that these resources will not be waste like milk if i am talking about milk vegetables these are the perishable products easily can be damaged we can't store for long time so here these products whenever we are sending in the in to the industry they are processing packaging and then supplying to the market and different parts of that country and any of the area so here uh, these products the finished products we can store for a long time and can use according to our needs then number six some industries produce war machineries definitely that every country having that they are um, basically soldiers crew and that defense um, defense sector like so the army military and this military this army using different um, weapons these weapons totally uh, nowadays very advanced and uh, this machine this all weapons why people are making and manufacturing to protect to protect uh, again or to um, uh, it means save our country from that foreign invaders foreign that uh, enemies and to protect ourselves from these all different kind of so students hope you have understood the concept discussed today uh, next in the next video we will discuss some more important points the types of industries till then stay safe stay healthy and don't forget to see the video thank you